I'm Jacqueline Nestor. I'm a first year MD PhD student at Hofstra North Shore Long Island Jewish School of Medicine. I, I've had a, a lot of experience with ultrasound since the very first week of school. Uh, they really put it in right away. Um, and for me, it's been you know, really helpful in my education. Um, we've had some clinical experiences for it, but right now it's really helping me, you know, learning. And I guess one of the big, biggest examples that I've remembered so far in this year was, you know, with the heart. And, you know, you look at the textbook and they show you there's four chambers and, you know, you're like, oh, okay. And then, you know, you go through it with the cadaver specimens and you say, oh, we put the probes, it goes this way. But it wasn't really until, like, I saw it on a live person with the ultrasound, seeing the things pumping and, you know, blood flowing and things going this way, that it really all sort of clicked for me. Um, so it's been a very helpful thing, uh, just putting, taking things from the book and taking things from the cadavers and seeing them actually moving and actually working is, you know, really helps me at least have everything stick in my mind. People are always really surprised when I go to, like, the clinical, like, um, our clinical experiences and I talk to, like, doctors and they're like, oh, like, do you want, need to explain this? And I'm like, no, I, I've already done it. And they're like, oh, really? Well, what's this organ? And like, even saying something as simple as like, oh, that's the liver. They're like, really? You knew that? Like, and I'm like, yeah, like, we already did it. We've already gone through it. And so people are really surprised, like, that we've been already exposed to it. Um, and I feel like it's been really helpful. Ultrasound has sort of exposed me to a lot of different specialties. Um, you know, we see it, we've seen it musculoskeletal, we've seen it like in, we're looking at the thyroid, and so it goes into like the endocrine, and so like cardiology, and it's even seen it on our like OB gyne rotations and seeing, you know, fetuses, and so it's, it's been everywhere. So it sort of makes me even more <laughs> not know which one I want to do because I get to, we get to use it all the time. So it's a lot of fun.